Stock non-wing and outlaw oh non-wing. Those points were absolutely insane as qualifier number two. Caleb getting set to exit the ramp. Jake Galusha and Cody Key make up the front row. Matthew Howard and Chance Crum on row number two. Harley Hall and Preston Latimus in the third row. J-Mac, Jason McDougal, Johnny Smith in the fourth row. Carson Perkins, Kevin Bayer, Jalen Mills and Chase Porter, Jason Friesen and Xavier Doney. The 14 cars in this lineup was Crum in his maiden voyage in the CB Industries entry, coming from deep in the field and holding that top point scorer spot until Jet Barnes showed up and absolutely decimated a group. How about Matt Howard there inside row number two? We've documented their eventful week beginning on Tuesday. Saw brother Nick enter the building, so he's back to help Matt in their one of their last efforts here in this outlaw wing division. Jake Galusha is really fast, but if Cody Key gets a good start from the outside, I have seen that car be one of the fastest, if not the fastest car in California over the late season. We'll see if Cody can make that happen as that deal came together this year. Cody was almost done racing outside of what the family could afford to do for him. Really capitalizing on the opportunity. Let's see if he can get a good start. Sure can. To the bottom, Galusha some trouble he's getting backwards as he got sandwiched so early on lap one he up to the lead and we got a car around that's galusha to a stop caution out Bear fired it back up and crossed the line but that couldn't have been a worse first lap for jake galusha who got sandwiched was heading backwards then had problems in four and the caution comes out the guy that didn't want to see that caution was your guy, Chance Crum. Had a heck of a start, picked the right lines at the right time, and was up to second. Something about those Chadbo industry cars just take off so well. Chad puts in all the homework, knows all the details of every race car, and they find their way to the front, that's for sure. Got to remember, Chance has been very good in this building before as well yeah. in a micro as he's sat on the front row yeah. of Outlaw Features. And look what Chase For, Jace Park did as well. He's already locked into two of them, and one of them going 13th to what was that third to go from 102nd points to top 10. Incredible. Biggest winner in this is Matt Howard, who now has the pole for this start. That's already three to one for him. Question is, can he take advantage of it? Howard on the inside, Key looking for a similarly good start on the outside. The game's going on in turn number three. Howard, no sir. Wow, Cody Key picked his pocket on that one. The yellow lights are on, and we're going to run that one back. And I wonder if they're not going to give Holland a shot at starting in the front row. If so, Harley Holland gets the golden ticket. Now, five wow. to one with no completed <laughs> laps. McDougal's praying for a Harley Holland jump here. At that point, you don't think you'd shuffle the <laughs> row and put Crum up, I, up you and gotta do Key something. down? Yeah, I don't know. But Cody Key can't afford to play games here. This one looks good. Key, however, can't quite get that same launch as Crum gonna go right through the middle. Can Key get him out? They do squeeze Crum backwards. Key gets up into the marbles, though. Howard's gonna get the position. There goes Jason McDougal to the bottom. McDougal said it feels like 2018 all over again. He's driving with the confidence he had that night. Looking to move up into the third position. Working up on the high groove and coming forward. That's a 570 of Johnny Smith who started eighth. Smith looking high side for fourth. Now with a run on Crum for third. Crum slides up racetrack trying to hold the position. He knows he's got to go four to three and maybe four to two. But Dougal has got a seven to two run going. Now make it seven to three as Crum gets underneath and McDougal gets moved out of the line and loses three spots. Yeah, Smith has been an excellent at going from outside to inside. Was able to use that move underneath Jason McDougal, but immediately goes back to the top. But it's been his bread and butter so far in this one. And Smith isn't done going after Crum here. Coming to four laps to go. Make it eight to four on Smith. My apologies. Crum four to three as he's trying to track down Howard and your leader. Harley Holland, who's got five to one in his pocket at the moment, and a long distance between himself and Howard. 
McDougal to the infield. Hard break for JMAC. Back in the field. Cars duking it out. That's beyond the fifth and sixth position. As we're down to three to go, make it two to go. You're watching Perkins in the 35. There's your leader, Harley Holland. One left. Harley Holland. Your battle for fourth is third and fourth is on right now. Crum is on the low side trying to make it happen as Harley Holland wins. It's going to be Smith at the line around wow. Chance Crum. That last lap was an absolute flyer. So Smith then goes eight to three. Crum four to four. Can't capitalize. Matt Howard three to two. But the story is Harley Holland five to one and Jason McDougal had something better happening before breaking and heading to the infield. Up top to Connor Wade with our interview. Thank you so much. Garrett Benson, the winner of